Well, welcome back. Real short video today, just kind of show you uh, uh, differences uh, between a bad and a good knock sensor. And uh, really one of those cases where you, you need a scope to really look to determine what's really wrong. Uh, with a multimeter, uh, you can get burned if you, if you don't have something that can show you uh, uh, what a scope can show you. We're just going to go through that real quick. This particular one's on a 2002 Honda CRV, but it, it pretty much uh, uh, applies to most vehicles. There's your knock sensor right there. Almost impossible to get at it without pulling the intake, so I pulled the intake. It's sitting over here. I had to pull that off to fix the IMRC um, valve anyway. Uh, we're going to test this. Difficult to get to. Um, you want to see pulling the intake. I have another video on the IMRC. You can see what's involved in pulling the intake off of this and getting it out of the way. <clears throat> it really only takes about you know, 15 minutes or so, 20 minutes maybe to get that intake off of there. Not too bad once you know what to do. Let's see what this looks like. I don't think it looks like. So you can see that. All right, let's stop this. Stop it. Let me find that and show it to you. There it is. So there's the difference. Let me show you this. So this is how you can get fooled. This is exactly how you can get fooled on this if you don't have a. If you, if you don't have something that can show you that sign, that kind of sign pattern it's supposed to be, you can see I'm still getting, if I was just doing a voltmeter, I'd still see about 5 volts, uh, and it would look, okay, it looks okay, but it's not. If you look at all the dropouts in here and how ragged this wave is, it's supposed to be a nice sine wave up and down, so this, this sensor is actually bad, but if you're just doing a voltage on this, you wouldn't see it. If, you're, if you didn't have a tool which could show you that sign pattern, just had a digital multimeter. You wouldn't see it. This was bad. You'd be guessing, and we don't like to guess. Tests don't guess, right? Here's part number. Give it a show that to you. KS197. Inner, inner motor. That's what this one is. There it is. So there you can see, nice looking sine wave. That's what we want to see. Uh, you can see um, on the scope the sine wave from the AC uh, and how it differed. And if you just had a multimeter or just looking at voltage and you know a meter that was just you know catching the voltage close to five volts when you're tapping on it, uh, you wouldn't see an issue. It would have looked okay. Yeah, but it's not. It's not putting out the sine wave that it should. It was all ragged, the old one, and that's what's causing the issue. So um, we just swapped it out. And uh, if you had just swapped the part, you'd have gotten away with it in this case. But we don't like to do that. You know, test, don't guess. Uh, we don't like to throw parts at things. We want to know exactly what's happening, what's wrong. Uh, otherwise, you get burned. Uh, if you have to do this, uh, I hope it helps you out. Um, if you like the video, subscribe below. Thanks for watching.